Welcome everyone, my name is Garner, and this is assignment 2 for CGT 245. Let's just jump right into it, okay? So, for this assignment we had to make a sci-fi utopia using a book as a resource. So, I used the book Brave New World, and in this book it's about a utopia, of course, and in this utopia they have a factory where they make uh, all the citizens. So. As you can see, uh, this is the outside of the factory I made. Uh, since it's a sci-fi utopia, there's a lot of uh, man-made stuff. It's not really natural anymore. So you can see the uh, glowing neon bushes, all the neon um, the poles and such. Just really give off a man-made feel. Uh, as you can see, this very white, clean building. Uh, not much here, just very simple, very straightforward sci-fi. Uh, you go through the chamber over here. This is the viewing chamber uh, to look at the testing chamber and birthing pods. So as you can see over here, here is the uh, birthing pods. And you can see all the uh, citizens being made and going on the conveyor belt out to the rest of the factory. Now, you may wonder like how I chose the specific characters. And well, I used the, uh, the player character model here to really show like their citizens right like my guys no different than all those guys right there they're the same just model and make of a human right and i guess maybe a robot in this case because you know, unreal engine right uh yeah and that would go to the rest of the factory uh as you can see out here yeah very clean very concise not really much extra no real just stuff here it's very sci-fi very futuristic very very cool and so this is my scene and you know let's hop right into the dystopia scene and i'll see you guys right then welcome back everyone uh this is my dystopia scene and as you can see it's very dystopian so let's just jump right into it here okay so for this scene i used the book the city of ember to uh, really like tell the way I wanted my scene to be, right? So like basically, The City of Ember is a book about like a city that's like underground. And, like in this city, uh, they're running out of resources, right? So as you can see from uh, this lamp right here, uh, it's broken, right? And they don't have the resources to fix it. So it's just permanently broken, permanently sparking. Uh, Nothing is gonna change, right? Uh, they're running out of resources, it's underground, so there's a bunch of rocks, it's very barren. Uh, things are on fire, uh, very little shrubs here and there, but just not really much. Uh, the buildings are all tilted because it's underground and there's a bunch of uh, earthquakes and tremors that really like push things around and there's like hills and such to really like just show that it's underground, right? There's not really not much here because it's like dystopia. It's like like realistic. It's like yeah, like if you were underground and your city was running out of uh, supplies, like like it's super realistic. Like this is how it would be. This is this is what your life would be like. You'd be you'd be walking in these houses. You'd be like sleeping sideways because you know you're building sideways. And like it's just how it would be. You know, like. Very realistic here, uh, very dystopian, uh, and hopefully society never ends up like this, but like, who knows, uh, maybe it will, like, maybe, but that's basically all for me today, guys, uh, hope you really just enjoyed this in-depth look of my Unreal Engine, uh, assignments for this week, so thank you guys, you can just smash that like button, and, uh, show up and just check out my assignment three at some point, or four, or maybe even five. I don't know how many assignments I'm getting. But yeah, thank you guys so much. And you know what? Have a great day, okay? Thank you. Thank you so much, so much. Okay, bye.